Hi, so I thought I'd do a review on the Michael J. Fox interview that was on CBS yesterday, um, which was Sunday. Okay, this is just, like I said, a review <laughs> and only my opinion. First of all, I'd like to say that pers on a personal level, I really like Michael J. Fox. I think he has done a lot for the Parkinson's community and brought a lot of awareness about Parkinson's, especially early and young onset Parkinson's. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's about, it, actually it's been about three years now. So the last time that I saw an interview that Michael J. Fox did about Parkinson's, it was quite a while ago and at that time I did not have a diagnosis of Parkinson's. This is the first Michael J. Fox interview <clears throat> that I've watched that I do have a diagnosis. Um, my first thought was like, it kind of seems like the old interviews that he did and maybe he didn't have much say in the interview, but it just seemed like a lot of the same information to me and the format of, of the actual interview seemed to be the same. Um, I thought overall that they really didn't do a good job of explaining what Parkinson's was. Um, the interview was entertaining, but I think if I didn't have Parkinson's I would be really confused. Um, there wasn't an explanation of dyskinesia, which um, I think that Michael J. Fox, well, probably Michael J. Fox suffers a lot from dyskinesia, and that's like the excessive movements that he makes due to the medication. And um, I think that was a big lost opportunity because a lot of people that, um, you know, were unaware of Parkinson's really see that and they think that is the Parkinson's. <clears throat> when it's not Parkinson's, it's a reaction to the medication that we take. And uh, dyskinesia doesn't happen in all people with Parkinson's and all people with Parkinson's don't have a tremor. So yeah, I would like to see a little bit more explanation of why he was moving about like that. Um, also, Jane Pauley said that the classic symptoms of Parkinson's were tremor, muscle stiffness, and slurred speech. I believe she got that a little bit confused. Slurred speech can happen in people with Parkinson's. I'm kind of like an example of, of that. Sometimes I have slurred speech and sometimes I don't. But that's like not a classic symptom. Some people have it, but most people don't have that that have Parkinson's. So, <clears throat> I think she forgot to include slowness. So, you know, some of the classic symptoms are tremor, but again, only, you know, there's 40% of the population of Parkinson's that don't have a tremor, so I think that was, should have been mentioned. Muscle stiffness, she mentioned that. She didn't mention the slowness, and she didn't mention rigidity. rigidity. Uh, so. You know, she kind of gave some symptoms, but not all the symptoms. Um, I would have liked to find out how the foundation is doing as far as finding a cure. But I did relook at the interview, and I did think that they kind of explain that. I think there's a misconception that a cure is really close. A panel of people with Parkinson's, I was really excited about that because I thought, yeah, finally, there's different sorts of people there, not just older people with Parkinson's. And um, I would have liked to see more interaction with the panel um, because they they only like showed the panel a couple of times and they answered a couple of questions but yeah I felt it kind of was like good in a way to see peop other types of people with Parkinson's but they could have gone more into it.
I thought that maybe if you didn't have Parkinson's that the whole interview was sort of confusing mm -hmm. as far as the interview not giving a good explanation of what Parkinson was. I thought that the way Michael J. Fox answered some of the questions, I don't think you would necessarily understand what he was talking about. I think if you have Parkinson's you understand what he was talking about. Um, one example of this was that the exchange that he had at the end where he was explaining that he could kind of control his tremors or his dys dyskinesia, which is the excessive movements. I'm, I understood what he was saying, but I'm not sure, like I said, that someone with Parkinson's would, without Parkinson's would understand on the uh, review. Basically, I think I was disappointed for being someone with Parkinson's. I think I was disappointed that it was, you know, the same kind of interview, almost saying the same things. And I'm not sure, I don't think that was Michael J. Fox's fault. And somewhat it's the style of the show. I would say that the show is kind of breezy and that's how the interview was, kind of light and breezy, kind of seemed like it was glossing over things. Um, not that I expected it to be real serious, but I think it needed to be really clear because right now Michael J. Fox um, is a strong representation of a young person with Parkinson's and we, we do have other people that do a great deal in the community, but Michael J. Fox is the most recognizable person with Parkinson's. And what I find is that there's a lot of weirdness about Parkinson's due to him, but there's still, even though he represents a younger person with Parkinson's, there still seems to be a lot of confusion that people younger, you know, than the typical age get Parkinson's. So he's like <clears throat> doing a lot as far as raising awareness, but one person can't raise awareness for the whole community.